Hi there. In this video, we'll try to learn about the functions. They're very important in our analysis of economics as well. Uh, basically, functions, they represent a relationship between inputs and outputs, and uh, there is power to act in a specific way. This is what a function means, that a function has a certain way of doing things due to which it performs a certain function. For example, if we consider this uh, tool or some sort of gadget or a machine, if we introduce apples into it, it slices them and brings them out in this way. So this, uh, these are the inputs and these are the outputs and it performs a certain function and it does something. So you can see these slices are dependent on the uh, apples that we introduce. So this is a dependent variable and this will be the independent variable. Um, if we can also look at it in this way that there are inputs and if we introduce an input x into function f, it will give us an output which will be termed as fx. Numerically speaking, if we input x is equal to 3, the uh, function that is x square will give it an uplift and it will make it 9 because we have to take the square of x which is 3. So you see that a function has a certain uh, process due to which it can confirm, convert an input into an output and it shows the relationship between the inputs and outputs as well. Uh, usually we have y and x as the uh, independent and independent variables of inputs or outputs. So you can see this is the output, this is the input, and this is the name of the function. In the name of the function, instead of small f, we can write uh, capital F, we can write G, we can write Greek letters like phi or psi. We can use all these letters and they are uh, perfectly fine because this is just a notational matter. Sometimes the dependent variable uh, appears as a function, that is y is a function of x. So here, function is represented with the same symbol as the symbol of dependent variable so z is a function of x that is z z of x um, but usually we write it in this way that we write uh, small f and then if we have more than one variables connected in these two uh, functions that is x is determining z and then x is also determining y so there are two uh, functions for that we can start with f and we can go to g and then h we can use other uh, alphabets to represent the functions when we plot them they will appear in a certain way as you can see here plotting a function uh, which is x is equal to 2 a simple linear relationship and when we do this uh, it will be uh, away from the y-axis by two points this is x is equal to 2 so it will remain x is equal to 2 below and above the x-axis because it is not changing it's a constant function in the same way we have uh, uh, y is equal to 2 it means that the value of y will remain 1 and 2 no matter we are before the origin or after the origin moving from left to right so these are a few functions that we depicted here there is another set of functions and the first one and then the second one and then the third one the, they are quite similar all of them are having x on the right hand side but the coefficient is changing here it is 2 here it is 1 and here it is 0.5 so it is the slope and you can see in this graph the slope is changing um, here the slope is 2 so this is the highest slope and then the slope is 1 so this is in the middle and this is the lowest slope that is 0.5 so the slopes can also be critical when it comes to uh, a function and how its graph will look like here what we have done is we have done the mapping and in that we have a locus which is actually known as a root or a way of points these are various points so uh, the locus shows the uh, way or the root of all the points that can occur on a graph so this is how a function is depicted in its various forms. There are other possibilities of functions as well. However, we have taken just a few examples for the sake of understanding. This is how a function works and we can use it to our advantage in our economic analysis as well. In our subsequent course, we will definitely delve deeper into various economic functions and we will try to solve them for interpretation and understanding of the economic situations.